instead of using a normal mug today, I'm using this giant novelty Universal Monsters mug that has enough coffee to kill a cow. Good morning and welcome back to Coffee with Santi. My chair is spinning and therefore I will be turned around in less than a second. Good morning and welcome back to Coffee with Santi. Uh, today I thought I would talk about feel-good movies um, because, well movies and TV shows, because when times are tough uh, I feel like often the urge is to uh, isolate oneself and um, consume a lot of media that probably mimics uh, the feelings that you're having. People do this a lot with music. You listen to sad songs when you're sad, happy songs when you're happy. So today, I thought I would recommend uh, a, f a couple of feel-good things that uh, may help to counter some of the negative feelings people may be having right now, um, or at any point whenever you're watching this, uh, because the internet is forever. The first thing that I thought I'd recommend is a movie that actually came out last year, um, in 2019. It's called Yesterday. Uh, Yesterday is basically just your standard kind of romantic comedy with the twist that the main character is the only person in the world uh, who remembers the Beatles. And uh, one of the things that I like about this movie is that they never really um, dive too deep into the Beatles stuff. Like, it's the main sort of crux of the movie, but if you're not a Beatles fan, you don't have to know anything to sort of go into this movie and enjoy it. My girlfriend is not a Beatles fan and she really liked this movie, so uh, it's just a feel-good kind of love story. It's really cute, it's very modern, um, but it kind of has a lot of those feel-good standards that I think people have come to like and enjoy from a romantic comedy. So the second recommendation that I had was The Chef Show. It's a show on Netflix, so if you have that, you can get it there. Um, it's just a really good uh, sort of structureless sh cooking show, food show, um, created by jo John Favreau, sort of as a spin-off to his movie that he made a couple of years ago called Chef. But yeah, it's just a really good show about food and about two people who clearly just really love food and cooking. Um, it always manages to make me smile and laugh and make me very hungry. So uh, if that's something you're into, then I recommend The Chef Show. I'm gonna put this huge mug down because it's hurting my hand. I don't know why lately in my videos I'm talking like a news broadcaster, but that's just the thing I'm doing. My third recommendation um, is actually a little bit more of an obscure one, but it's a movie that I saw a while ago that I remember being quite good, quite heartfelt, um, but might not be for everyone. Uh, it's called Heroes of the East. <laughs> it's a martial arts movie. It's a Shaw Brothers martial arts movie um, from the 1970s. It's basically following this uh, man and a woman who, who one is Chinese, one is Japanese. Uh, they get married, and then it's sort of about uh, testing out which uh, country has the best kung fu. Um, and it's just as silly as it sounds. It's one of the few kung fu movies I've seen that does not take itself or its action seriously. It's just a really good, fun movie. Um, and so if you're into action, if you're into martial arts movies, uh, I recommend it. I will probably be covering it in the future on my other show, Coffee with a Kick. So look out for that. My fourth and final pick um, is a movie that, again, came out last year. Um, but this one's a little bit, a little bit more adult. It's a hard R. Um, and that is Dolomite is My Name. Uh, this is the latest sort of Eddie Murphy comedy film. Uh, he produced it. I don't know if he like wrote or directed it. I don't think he did, but um, he stars in it, and it is delightful. Uh, it's feel good from start to finish. It just it hits all the right notes to make you smile and laugh. Um, and it's recent, if that's the thing you're into, also on Netflix. So uh, you can check that out if you have that. Um, but otherwise. Uh, I hope you uh, take these recommendations, or some of your own, leave your own feel-good recommendations in the comments, and let me know, um, because we could all use a reason to smile. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a like down below, maybe subscribing, uh, and I will... Oh, uh, 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 I forgot how to, how to intro, outro.